Hey friends, I'm Natalie with Autel Robotics. Let's learn how to set up a waypoint mission with your XTAR drone. Let's prepare the XTAR for flight. Waypoints can be a useful tool if you plan to fly similar paths multiple times for a project or to survey land. After launching the Starlink app and taking off the XTAR drone, go ahead and tap on the fly icon. Let's choose waypoints. The first waypoint menu will appear on the right side of the Starlink app. Here, we have two options to create a new mission or pick a mission from our favorites. Tap Create. Now there are three ways to set up a waypoint mission. Under the Waypoint Location menu, the first option is Aircraft. This allows you to set waypoints at the current location of the XTAR. Tap on the Mark Waypoint button near the bottom of this menu. You can see we have now set one waypoint. Now fly the aircraft to the next location and tap Mark Waypoint. When setting waypoints based off the aircraft's current location, it will also mark the altitude of the aircraft as well for that waypoint. This is the safest way to place waypoints on your XTAR as you have to manually fly the route you wish to do autonomously. We can delete waypoints easily by tapping the Delete Waypoint button. The next option for setting up a waypoint mission is Point on Map. This option will switch you over to the map view and then allow you to tap a point on the map to set a waypoint. The last option will let us draw a route on the map and automatically place waypoints for you. Keep in mind, the XTAR will fly straight lines to each waypoint. For now, let's set up a mission using the Point on Map option. Tap on the map to set your waypoints. Now that we have a mission planned, let's tap Done. We have a few more settings to adjust before we start this mission. Now we can tap on a specific waypoint and a new window will appear. This will allow us to set the altitude for that waypoint. Setting an altitude is very important when planning a waypoint mission this way. Know your surroundings and set the waypoints properly. The XR will gradually ascend between waypoints to reach the desired altitude by the time it arrives at the next waypoint. On this menu, we can also set a duration of time we want the XR to hover at that waypoint location. Now let's choose what we want the XR to do once it has completed the mission. I'm going to choose Return to Home. Now that we have set the waypoints, altitude, and duration of hovering at each point, we can now start the mission. Go ahead and press Start. The Starlink app will now upload the waypoints to the XTAR and will begin the mission. If you plan on repeating this mission, you can save it by tapping on the star icon at the top of the menu. This will save the mission to the Favorites menu that we saw in the beginning. If you want to speed up or slow down the XTAR during the mission, use the right command stick. Pushing forward will speed up and pulling down will slow the XTAR down. You can rotate the drone left and right during the mission using the left command stick. At any point during the mission, you can press the pause button on the controller to make the XTAR stop and hover. To resume the mission, press the pause button again. If you need to exit the mission, tap exit on the menu in the Starlink app. You can hide the waypoint menu at any time by tapping hide at the top of the menu. To reopen this menu, tap on the fly icon that's highlighted blue and it will reopen. You should now be familiar with the waypoint feature on your XTAR drone. Thanks for watching and fly safe.